What's up guys, how you all doing? For today's video we're going to put to the test multi-cut 3-in-1. This is a, a seen on TV item, we all know we love those. The way we're going to test it is exactly the test they did in the commercials and see if it actually works. By the way, be very careful when opening knives and stuff like that, because they are sharp. So don't cut yourself. Okay, first of all, we got here like a shears, very, very sharp scissors, except right here, just a base. But the sharp end is right here. This is like a box cutter blade. Obviously, this is tool one. Tool two right here is a wire cutter or nail snipper, multiple uses for those. And also, if you push this back, boom, you lock it up. That way you got a box cutter or any kind of cutter. Let's say you need to open up a packaging. Obviously cuts it really, really easily through the packaging. So imagine what it's going to do with the box. So that's no question. This blade is sharp enough to open this plastic packaging very, very easily. And it's actually very comfortable too because you have a little bit of a blade, just like a box cutter. So that's really awesome. Boom. Cuts to plastic, that annoying plastic that is really hard to open without a knife, really easily. In the commercial they claim that it is really easy to cut the tough stuff. And they also say it's because of the mechanical action. Well, let's see if it actually works. I have apple tree that needs to be trimmed up. That small piece is no problem. There is a bigger twig, no problem. Uh. There is a little bit of effort I have to put in. There is dry sticks, no problem. What they were cutting is something as big as this one. No way. I know, but effortless, and this stick is pretty small. Oh, no way. Yeah, smaller stuff it cuts really easily, but this bigger sticks. It's a lot harder, it actually hurt my wrist. Okay, let's start to cut to this big stick, no way. Maybe if I twist it or something, it cuts it better, but no way. The stick test was kind of a fail because when I was trying to cut to the stick, it would not cut it too. Even though on the commercial, it looks like a really thick stick, they cut it too really easily. So I don't know how or why it does not work for me. I got here climbing rope. Let's see how easily it's going to cut through this very thick rope. Wow, no way. That's actually satisfying. Check this out. Like butter. And this is very, very thick rope. Wow, this is insane. This is actually very, very satisfying. Let me show it to you close up. Look how easy this cuts too. Wow, this is definitely a useful tool right there to cut the rope. In the commercial, they cut to a lot thicker rope. Let's see if it can to easily this kind of rope. Wow! Can you believe it? Just as easy, this different type of material rope. No problem. So if you need to cut a rope all the time, this tool is definitely an amazing tool to do so. Let's see if it can cut a rope even thicker one. Boom. This is definitely much thicker rope. Look how this one is. This is nothing compared to this super thick rope. Okay, there goes nothing. The problem is it doesn't even go into the mouth of the rope. Wow, look at that. No problem. Can you believe it? Wow. With this multi-cut, no problem. Unbelievable. Let me trim this up real quick. Actually, it does not like to 
cut to the soft stuff that easily. Look at that. You see? It does much, much better job when it's thick like this. Let's do this one more time. This is actually pretty effortless. Look at that. One-handed. It just don't fit all the way through, so you have to do a little bit at the time because they're much smaller than this soap. And like I said, the soft part is a little bit harder to cut. This is a really, really thick rope and I just did it with few cuts. Amazing. Rope cutting was a huge success, but they say garden hose will be just as easy. Let's start. Wow, look at that. That's actually very easily cuts too. Again, it's a little bit thicker hose and it's a not ordinary garden hose. It's a lot thicker kind. Look at that. And look how many cuts I already have done. Amazing. One handed. The rope test blew my mind. Do you see how thick this rope was? It cut it too with one hand easily. So is the hose. That hose is really easy to cut too. The next test we're going to do is cut into PVC pipe. They had a really small PVC pipe. Let's see if it's actually just as easy as in the commercial. Okay, there is a PVC pipe, regular kind. Oh my goodness, no way. You know what? In the commercial, it looks so easy. I don't know what's on with that. Let's try this again. I'm putting my whole body weight into it. So I don't know about that. You know what? On the PVC pipe, I think they exaggerated quite a bit because it would not even cut through. I don't know who used it, what kind of superpower is they have because I cannot do it. Okay, you be the judge. Next, we're going to put to the test the wire cutters. We got here pretty thick wire. Let's see how it does. Not bad, look at that. But will this will do even better? Nope. If we try to cut it with the blade, it does not cut that well. Look at that. But with wire cutters, it's a lot easier. Boom. And these regular wires are no much to even the blade. You don't even have to use the wire cutters. Honestly, easier to just use the actual knife. And the next test, what they did is snip the nails. Let's see how it's going to work. Not bad. Have to use two hands most likely. Yep, but it does work. Look at that. Amazing. What I will be using multi-cut for a lot is cutting this fence wire. Not bad. Snipping it really easily. Oh. Missed it. Look at that, close up. Okay, now the real test. This part right here is a lot thicker. Not bad, but I have to use two hands. Let's see if the, the regular ones is going to be a lot easier. Actually, quite a bit easier. You know, I can even do it with one hand. You know what, I'm going to keep using these ones to snip the wire fence. One more test they did in the commercial, they cut to a belt. Let's try to do the same thing. Push it all the way through. Now we got here box cutter. That blade got beat up quite a bit, but let's see if it's still sharp. They might have used different type of belt, yeah. They used leather belt, 
this thing is a lot thicker but let's try to cut it too anyways no way but yeah belt like that look at that it does not cut to that kind of material so it works on a lot of materials but not on this kind of material well guys in conclusion it is very solid tool i love it will it replace all the cutting tools i don't think so so commercial is a little bit exaggerated but again i still love this tool and i'm glad i have it 100 percent i'm gonna use it lots of lots of times especially if i cannot find my snippers i'm gonna grab this ones or i cannot find my box cutter i have a box cutter right here also if i need scissors boom it's definitely an awesome tool to have but yeah, let me know in comments below what do you think. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.